Hey there everyone, Dave here with a new comic book day haul and recommendations video for all of you. And I went up to the comic shop on Friday and picked up my books uh, from this week and from last week. Again, last week I only got two comics and the previews coming in, so I picked them up this week. Alright, so let's jump right in. First we'll start off with uh, the books from last week. So, first up got the previews. Nice and big, like usual. Then we got Gunslinger Spawn, issue number six from Image Comics, and this is the cover A. And then we've got the Department of Truth, issue number 17, and this is cover A from Image Comics. So that's all that came out last week, for me at least. Start off with this week's now, with Newburn. Issue number five from Image Comics, and this is the only cover for this book. And then we got Rise of Dracula, issue number four from Source Point Press, and this is the cover A. And then we've got Something is Killing the Children, issue number 21 from Boom Boom Boom, Boom Studios, and this is cover A. And we've also got a couple of variants with it. So this is cover B, this is the uh, die cut mask cover, it opens up here and you can see the actual cover, pretty cool. So that's the non-bloody version and then we've got cover C, the die cut bloody version, bloody mask version. Yeah. So it's the same one, basically just she's got blood all over her face and hands. But pretty cool though, I thought that was nice. And then I thought this one was really nice. I wanted to get this one. Uh, this is gonna be cover F, uh, Gabriel Del Otto uh, wraparound virgin variant. This is the uh, one in 100 cover. So I thought that was really cool. It's some nice artwork right there. It's really nice. And then we got one more for this one. We got cover H. The uh, Vincenzo Riccardi big cover. And next up we've got Spawn, issue number 328 from Image Comics, and this is cover A. And then we've got Radiant Black, issue number 13, and this is going to be from Image Comics, and this is cover A. And then we've got uh, Vampirilla Dracula Unholy, a love story, issue number four. And we've got a few different covers on this one. So uh, this is going to be cover B. I don't have cover A at the moment. We'll get that next week. And this is going to be cover C. Pretty uh, ooh la la on that one. And then we've got cover D. And then we've got cover M. And we've got cover N. The crazy cover. And then we've got cover P, which is a virgin variant of the previous one, cover N. And then we've got cover R. And cover S. Pretty cool. And then we've got cover T. Always have some nice covers on those uh, Vaporilla books. Vaporilla Dracula. And then we've got Batman One Dark Knight. And this is going to be book number two from DC Black Label. And this is going to be the cover A. Vaporilla Dracula Unholy, by the way, uh, that is from Dynamite Entertainment. And uh, lastly, just going to show some vintage books that I picked up, uh, some eBay purchases uh, this week. Well, 
two of them are, are, are vintage. The other one, I'm not sure if you really consider that vintage yet. But uh, first one is Incredible Hulk, issue number 228 from October of 1978. And this is the first appearance of Moonstone. So I've been trying to collect some first appearance books. So I've got a few of them. I'm trying to collect as many as I can. I'm mostly going for lesser known characters because those are obviously a lot cheaper than the very well known characters. So they're a bit more affordable. But that was a pretty nice little cover there. And then we've got Tales to Astonish, issue number 62. It's a cover date is December 1964, but I thought I read that it came out in January. So, not 100% sure what the proper date would be on that one. Uh, this is the first appearance of the leader. And this one is old. It's probably... I think this is probably the oldest book that I have. It's probably going to be the oldest book that I have, I think. Uh, it's pretty beat up. So this is going to be a low-grade version. One day when I get it graded, it's definitely going to come back with a low-grade. Probably like a three something or a four i'll try and get it pressed see if that does anything but i'm not expecting anything higher than a four and the other one i don't know if anybody considers this vintage yet but it's hulk number one from 2008 it's not that long ago so it's not really vintage uh, but it's an older book and it's the first appearance of red hulk Hi everyone, so let me give you my recommendations from this haul. Alright, so first up, we're gonna have Vampirilla Dracula Unholy, a love story, issue number four from Dynamite Entertainment. Let's jump in, check out some of the artwork in here. There you go. Some crazy, crazy shit right there. All right, so this is a pretty good issue. Uh, we're seeing that uh, Dracula is somehow able to control or inhabit uh, other people. I'm guessing through some sort of mind control that he that he has. Uh, we get some snippets of dialogue throughout the issue uh, from it says from Van Helsing, so I guess it must be Van Helsing's journal, just giving some general story. Uh, info about Dracula. It's it's sporadic in spots. Um, it's just talking about the past. Uh, we also see uh, Vampirella's mother has set up a trap uh, for Dracula to try and uh, capture him and kill him. Uh, Vampirella ends up showing up and things get a little crazy like you might expect. Uh, and in the end you got a little uh, surprise revelation about Dracula and his plans. Uh, I won't spoil it for you though. Check it out. Um, but yeah, the writing was very good. You know, pacing was good. Uh, you know, the art for various covers, of course. You know, like I said before, like usual, is just, you know, great. So many different variants, and just they're all they're all so so good. Um, you know, the art for uh, the interior, pretty good for the most part. Uh, there is one panel towards the end of the book, which is kind of funny. It's uh, one of the last pages towards the top, uh, and the characters have no faces. They got heads on their bodies, but no faces. So it's kind of weird. I uh, haven't seen that before in a book, so I don't know if that's uh, a mistake or if that's supposed to be some perspective uh, that I'm not catching on to. But it was no big deal. So pretty good issue. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next one and seeing uh, where we get to from here. Alright, next up. 
Next up, we're gonna have Gunslinger Spawn, issue number six from Image Comics. And let's jump in, check out some of this crazy Spawn artwork. So, the guy in this issue, uh, Gunslinger and Clown go to Clown's uh, Island uh, Sanctuary Headquarters, whatever you want to call it, uh, and they go there to celebrate their newfound partnership, and they have some whiskey and a nice little feast uh, fit for an army, and uh, of course, one of them eventually uh, starts behaving a little naughty, and their uh, partnership doesn't last very long. Um, got a nice little twist at the end there uh, to end the fight between the two of them. Again, no spoilers. Check it out if you want to know what's going on. Uh, but again, typical crazy spawn art style and pretty good writing. Uh, it does go slow at first. You know, first probably I guess you know half of it. It's a little slow, but just just build up though basically to the end um but in the end you know things go sideways as it usually does uh with spawn but i definitely enjoyed it by the end you know again it was a little slow in the beginning but once you get to the end there it's like all right it was worth it so this was a really good issue liked it and i'm looking forward to seeing where uh gunslinger goes from here All right, next up, we're going to have Something is Killing the Children, issue number 21 from Boom Ba Boom Boom Studios. Jump in, check out some of your Something is Killing the Children artwork. So this was a good one. Uh, this issue is the uh, first issue in a new story arc for the series. Uh, it takes place in a new town. It takes place in uh, in New Mexico. Uh, now, of course, you got there's a monster killing people in this town. Uh, we got a policeman named Carter who's trying to figure out what is going on. Uh, he's also with a little girl uh, who is a potential witness to uh, a gruesome killing and you know he's trying to get her to open up about what happened you know hoping that she witnessed something and could give him some clues as to what's going on um good old uh, erica slaughter uh, makes a quick little appearance obviously she's going to be here to kill whatever it is that's killing the people in town so it's a nice little setup for the next story arc uh you know good writing like usual and uh Solid pace with some good visuals in there, as you saw. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where this uh, goes, you know, especially with uh, Erica being a bit of a fugitive uh, from the order that she was previously a part of. Uh, but this is a pretty good, it's a pretty good series. And this new story arc, looking forward to it. And lastly, we are gonna have Batman One Dark Knight, book number two. And let's jump in. She got some of your dark artwork. I'm trying to get it without the glare. Okay. 
All right. All right, there we go. All right, so we're picking up uh, where we left off with the last issue with Batman on foot, you know, trudging it through uh, Gotham uh, with the villain EMP over his shoulder. Because EMP is basically in and out of consciousness after uh, uh, discharging uh, his powers in the previous issue. Uh, but, you know, Batman's running low on, on time to get him to uh, Blackgate Prison. He's got to get him there before dawn. Uh, and it's, you know, at the start of this issue, he's, I think, a little over three miles away. So pretty, uh, pretty long haul he's got to uh, carry this guy and get there on foot. Uh, you know, it seems like every gang in town has uh, been mobilized and they're all out to uh, cause mayhem and, uh, you know, either take out Batman or uh, you have EMP's own gang who's out there trying to get him back from Batman. So he's got to deal with gangs that are trying to kill him and EMP. And then he's got EMP's gang trying to get EMP back. So he's got his hands full. It's a pretty crazy series so far. It's really good. Um, he has a lot of run-ins uh, with these gangs and uh, more than a few close calls with death. Uh, he's also uh, you know, he's running out of time, of course, like I said, but you know, he's also running out of uh, his personal energy and uh, supplies because he's having to use his batarangs and, and such to... Uh, Try and fend off some of these guys since he's essentially got like just one arm sometimes when he's fighting. So uh, he's running out of supplies. Um, you know, the end is uh, he, he's pretty he's pretty close to a uh, Blackgate prison by the end of this issue, but still so very far away since he's on foot. <laughs> uh, I think he ends up being like a mile or some, a little over a mile away, but still pretty good distance when you're hauling some, uh, somebody who's, I think they said he was 180 pounds or something like that, you know, carrying that and trying to avoid gangs. <laughs> good luck. But, uh, yeah, you know, the writing and the artwork is great. You know, Jock is the one who's uh, writing this series and also drawing it. So kudos to him. Uh, at the end of this issue, it says that the next issue uh, comes out in June. So, you know, there is a big gap again, just like between book one and two. Um, and also it says that uh, the next issue is the final issue. It's the conclusion. I didn't realize it was that short. I didn't realize it was only three issues. I thought maybe it was going to be like at least five, but whatever. These are pretty... There, it's a book, you know, it's really big as you can see the magazine, it's got the magazine size rather than your traditional comic book, uh, normal comic book size. You know, these are in comparison. A lot, a lot thicker than your average comic book, so there's a lot going on in here. And, uh, you yeah, know, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how this ultimately plays out. And, uh, you know, Jock's done a great job so far. And hopefully after this series, he'll get another one. You know, I'm looking forward to that too. Hopefully something, he'll be getting another uh, Batman series to do. You know, be fine with it being another little mini series like this. Alrighty, so that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider hitting that good old like button. And subscribing to the channel. If you've already subscribed to the channel, well then, thank you very much. Your support's much appreciated. And also, if you feel like it, leave a comment down below. Let me know what books you picked up this week and what books you recommend. Let me know if you picked up uh, any of these recommendations from this week. Or just say hi. Always love hearing from you. All right. So until next time, uh, be safe and be well. And I'll catch you later. Yeah, I'm not, I'm just